Hey, thanks for joining us for Up to Speed Live on this Friday, April 23rd. Happy Friday to all of you. Uh, it's been an amazing week at Verizon. Lots to share, lots to be proud of. And in case you missed it, uh, here is your Verizon News Rundown for the week of April 19th. Let's go. On Monday, a conversation on diversity, equity, and inclusion in the world of finance. We sat down with members of our Treasury team, uh, along with a few of our external partners in the capital markets, to talk about how Verizon is helping to create new opportunities for diverse representation on Wall Street and beyond. Uh, Ronan joined us for a two for Tuesday of sorts with a double dose of 5G news, including our 5G home internet expansion and free Chromebook offer, as well as a 5G ultra wideband announcement. Those super fast mobility speeds are coming to parts of Fresno, California, New Orleans, Louisiana, Riverside, California, and San Antonio, Texas. Wednesday was our Q1 earnings webcast where we look back at just how we delivered for our customers, how we continue to grow, and of course, we recognized our latest Credo winner, Nick Jessa. Congrats to Nick. Thursday, we celebrated Earth Day by talking about all the things we've been doing to help our planet, including our commitment to dramatically reduce our operational emissions and plant 20 million trees by 2030. It is not easy being green, but no doubt the V team is making it happen. And that wraps up your weekly news rundown. Now, there was another big, big story that, that I know... We were supposed to talk about, I'm drawing a blank though, hmm. Hey Andy, it's Diego here. Remember that this is oh. Oscars weekend and we have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do, Diego. Thank you for the reminder. And how can I forget? It is Oscars weekend. Uh, we've got a ton to talk about. In fact, we've got a giveaway contest at the end of this episode. We want to help you uh, upgrade your Oscars watch party at home this Sunday. So stick around later uh, this episode for those contest details. Now, uh, since the Oscars are generally a, um, a black tie affair, I, I do think uh, we can class it up a bit. Um, I'm in Jersey. Uh, Hollywood's kind of far away, but I do think we can do a little better uh, than just sit here at the home office. Um, you know what? I, I've got an idea. I, I've got an idea. Hold on just a minute. Stay right there. Okay, yeah, hold on a second. Stay right there. I've got an idea. I, I'll be right back. All right, that's more like it. We got the lights, the rope, the paparazzi. Andy, when does Up Speed the movie come out? Uh, talk to my agent. Can mm -hmm. I get an autograph, please? Uh, maybe on the way out, we, we got a little show to do. I love this, the rope. This, this is more like it, doing it big. Let's talk Oscars. Let's get you up to speed. Joining us now is our CMO, Diego Scani. Diego, it is good to see you, sir. It's great to see you, Andy. I mean, you, you, look, you look so sharp. Is it, is it, is it either, I, prom, <laughs> is either prom season or is the Oscar? So which one is it? Let me tell you, I have not worn a tux probably since prom. It was a little <laughs> tough to get into it. But uh, hey, for the Oscars, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. So let, let's talk about the Oscars, Diego. This is an exciting time, uh, award season, great stories on film. But we have a great story to tell, too. But I tell you, the Oscars is uh, really uh, a great celebration of storytelling, and we always uh, use this platform uh, to amplify the message uh, of our brand and our network superiority. So this year, uh, it's not going to be anything different. As you heard, uh, Kyle and Hans uh, during uh, this week's webcast, uh, 15 times in a row, we are the best network in America. Uh, so we're going to tell stories that are about Verizon being America's most reliable network. I know that that is something uh, that you've heard before, but this year, what's really special is that I, I think one can argue that uh, the, the reliability of the network, uh, of our network, has never been more important than in the last year, when so many people relied on the network to do things differently because of the pandemic. So before I tell you a little bit more about it, uh, why don't we uh, just watch uh, the video and uh, we can talk a little bit more. When the pandemic hit, summer camp was canceled. It just kind of broke my heart a little bit. When I found out it was going to be virtual, my face just lit up. I went into the hospital and I was able to connect onto the network and immediately begin teaching my students. 
I'm a firefighter and my wife is a physician assistant. That reliability of Verizon to have me and her be able to see each other was clutch for us. To rely on the network meant our community could rely on our business. I was able to join a leadership team of 12 indigenous women to coordinate relief for my community. 74 years. 74 years since I hugged him. The network brought us together, but it does not replace this. Wow, that was awesome, Diego. Thank you very much for the preview there. Tell us a little more about how we found these customers and why it was so important to tell their stories. Well, I'll tell you, let, let me first talk a little bit about uh, the, the brand itself. You know, we always talk about the brand, but the brand is uh, one of the most important assets that any company could have. It's really uh, that contract that you have uh, with the customers. And that contract, yes, has to do with the products, the value, what you what you provide to them. But it also has to be with uh, has to do with a, an emotional relationship uh, that uh, uh, that you develop with the customer. And, and you know, think about any of the brands that uh, you love. That emotional relationship needs to be uh, nurtured, fed, and articulated. So these stories, uh, first of all, they're all real customers. None of these people are actors. We have a tremendous team that finds these stories, that find these customers. But you know, you heard me say before that the authenticity uh, of the stories using real customers, our real uh, reps in the stores, our real engineers, is uh, what our brand is about. Because we, we we don't make things up. We tell the truth. We tell stories that are real, and this is non-different. You know that's why uh, you're going to have seven spots throughout uh, the broadcast. You've seen some of the stories there, Ethan. Um, uh, you know, that is a, a kid that has uh, muscular dystro dystrophy uh, to these two bro uh, brothers and sisters that they met online after 70 plus uh, years. Uh, Will, he's a doctor that even after being diagnosed with cancer could continue to teach um, uh, in the hospital. So uh, this to me is, I get a little bit of, a, I get a chill, chills because uh, these are people that were able to do extraordinary things during extraordinary times. And what these two things had in common was the reliability of Verizon's network. That's amazing. It's, it's awesome. And, and as you mentioned, these are real people. And, and we had the pleasure to connect with some of these real people in our Oscar spots. Uh, so let's get to meet them real quick. All right, we've got Shandine here to talk about her story for another one of our Oscars commercials. Now, Shandine is a member of the Navajo Nation and a recent college graduate who returned to live at home in Monument Valley, Utah at the start of the pandemic. While home, she quickly realized that her community on the reservation was in need. In fact, the Navajo Nation was one of the hardest hit populations impacted by COVID-19 in the country. She arranged for resources such as food, household supplies uh, to be delivered to families inside the reservation uh, so those vulnerable individuals would not have to travel outside towns for supplies, risk exposure to COVID-19. Her work would not have been possible uh, without the Verizon connection from her iPad, which she used daily to conduct meetings, collect information and donations, uh, and organize resources uh, and delivery to communities in need. So let's take a look at Shandine's commercial now. On the Navajo Nation, our people endure a lot of challenges. It wasn't a matter of if COVID would reach our nation, it was a matter of when. I was able to join a leadership team of 12 indigenous women to coordinate relief for my community. It was pivotal that I had Verizon so I could safely and effectively deliver supplies to them. This is how we are standing up for our people and protecting each other. An absolutely beautiful story you shared, Shandine. Thank you so much for joining us. Tell us what it was like uh, to share your story uh, and shoot the commercial. Yeah, it, it was definitely a very exciting opportunity, a very surreal 
Um, I think that any opportunity to share not just my story, but the collective story of my community and our people um, is always a chance I am excited for, not just to educate others who may not be aware of the challenges our people continue to endure, but also just, you know, I think that representation is so important and being that, you know, I work within all indigenous women led organization and bringing that to the forefront um, was definitely an awesome experience for me. We know you use your Verizon iPad as I do uh, every day to get online, provide connection uh, to tribes and communities uh, that otherwise would not have that connection. Uh, so what does it feel like uh, to harness that power to make sure that the network Network matters when it comes to uh, being there for your community. Yes, you know, um, it's always been a challenge to access internet and even cell phone service in my community. So having that stable connection really enabled me to coordinate with my team, connect to community members, and ultimately bring in resources to my people. Access to internet also gave me the really great opportunity to engage on social media, share the work that we are doing, and ultimately uh, raise more money for our relief fund so we can, can continue to provide really much needed resources to our people. So, um, you know, that connection for me is a huge sigh of relief. I know firsthand the frustration and the stress that comes with not having access to internet and not being able to connect effectively so it was a, a really great and an important part of the work I do yeah and let's talk a little bit more about that fundraising and the power behind your work uh, and really accelerated by the network here um, just taking a look at the numbers we've heard you'd raised over 18 million dollars and helped over a hundred thousand people this past year uh, how does it feel uh, raising that money that started really just a few thousand dollars now you know we're, we're, we're you know millions within a year talk to us about that growth and and what it means uh, to stay connected not just with uh, your community but really the whole world Yes, so, you know, it was amazing. We had this vision to raise just a few thousand dollars to help out a few families as we went along. And, you know, right when we launched our fundraising effort, within 24 hours, we had raised $50,000. And by day four, we had raised over $100,000. And it just kept growing from there. So, you know, with that, I'm really proud of the way our team was able to mobilize and move resources quickly and efficiently to families who really needed, um, you know, groceries, food, water, PPE, and other necessities. Um, but actually, we've been able to serve over 400,000 people. So, you know, 300,000 people uh, who received uh, resources through our food program and then um, more through our PPE program. So, um, you know, it's just been really amazing, not just how we've been able to mobilize and raise money, but also to see the amount of support that others outside of our community have sh has shown for us. Um, you know, we have over 100,000 donors you know, that's 100,000 people who donated their money to support our cause and to help us protect our people. So that is another amazing uh, component to our success. That's wonderful. And the connections that you'll be making uh, on uh, the Oscars, uh, during the Oscars, uh, you'll be reaching even more people. Uh, tell us what that opportunity to shoot the commercial was like. You're a, you're, you're a natural storyteller and it shines through through the screen there. What was that like? Yeah, so, you know, I've, I've never done anything like this, so it was a little nerve-wracking, to be honest, but definitely very exciting. Um, you know, I'm just overall very elated to have this opportunity, not just to share my story, but our story as Diné people, um, you know, and educate, and just really, I think this is an opportunity for other people to learn about, um, you know, some of the challenges we face, but also the innovation and the resilience that continues to persist in our communities. Um, so I'm just really thankful for this opportunity and am excited to see, you know, the work that will be highlighted um, and definitely, you know, bring forth, you know, the leadership and the innovation that we have seen in, in the grassroots organization throughout 2020. And to know that our network uh, played a part uh, in all that you've done and the work that you've done uh, is truly an honor and a privilege uh, to be a part of it. Uh, Shandine, thank you so much uh, for sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah.
MDA Summer Camp is a week-long camp for children with muscular dystrophy. It's one of the best weeks of my entire life. When the pandemic hit, summer camp was canceled. It just kind of broke my heart a little bit. When I found out it was going to be virtual, my face just lit up. We were able to stay connected with his friends. Hey, guys, the party's in the house. Since we weren't having to walk from place to place, there was a lot more activities. Verizon gave these kids a community in a time that everything was shut down. Even though it wasn't in person, it still was summer camp because it's the people that make it camp. Was that a fantastic commercial or what? All right, Ethan, Josh, and Jordan, thank you so much for joining us. That was so cool. Thank you for being a part of our story, a part of our network story. Um, Ethan, we'll, we'll start with you. Um, how excited were you to be a part of our commercial? Oh, I was so excited when I found out I was getting to go to LA and shoot a commercial for Verizon. I had so much fun and I'm so glad I got to share my story with all kinds of people. And thank you so much for letting us share our story. Oh, it was our privilege uh, to share your story on our commercial. Thank you for sharing that story. Now, um, I've learned uh, through a little research here that uh, through many of the programs, through the Muscular Dystrophy Association, Ethan, that you are their national ambassador. Uh, so the summer camp is super important to you. Uh, so when you found out it's going virtual, what were your thoughts? How excited were you that uh, COVID wasn't going to affect the excitement? I was so excited when I found out COVID was not going to affect it at all, and I would still be able to get in chat rooms and talk to my friends and just have a great time. And also for once, me, my mom and my dad, we were all able to do activities online, which we never had been able to do before. It, it was still camp, I had a lot of fun. Well, listening to you speak and seeing your parents smile from ear to ear, it's, it's wonderful to see. So Josh and Jordan, tell us about uh, the, the pride you feel uh, when you hear Ethan tell that story uh, and uh, being a part of the commercial with him. Uh, tell us how special that was for you and your family. Being able to tell the story on this type of level is just absolutely incredible. I mean, the awareness that it's bringing to the Muscular Dystrophy Association and kids just like Ethan, um, you know, we couldn't be more grateful to Verizon for allowing us that opportunity to impact the world with, you know, his story. And Josh, uh, you know, the Oscars, of course, you've made it to Hollywood. The family has made it to Hollywood. This is going to air during the Oscars. How exciting is that? That is just crazy in itself. I never thought we would be at this point or have this opportunity to get his story out, to tell everyone about Ethan and his struggles and how he overcomes those every day. And it's just, it's amazing to be a part of that. It's a wonderful thing, and you're representing MDA uh, w with such joy and such light. And I understand, Ethan, uh, you are the life of the party, as we saw in the commercial, uh, and, and your joke-telling got a little national attention for your, your, your joke-a-day MDA campaign. So, uh, you know, when you're at a formal event like this, you always want a few jokes in your pocket, so I'm hoping to borrow a few from you. Can you share a few nice jokes for us here? This is my favorite joke from the joke a day for MDA. What did the magician say to the fisherman? Pick a cod, any cod. I like that joke and I think that deserves an award. So yes, best joke goes to you, Ethan. Josh and Jordan, thank you so much for being a part of our story, our network story. It's a privilege telling your story as well. And uh, it's so nice to meet all of you. Nice, nice to meet you. you and thank you so much again. Thank, thank you. you. And there you have it, Shandine, Ethan, and his family. Diego, sending it back to you. How do you select these stories? How do you select the people to feature in our spots? Well, I, I tell you, first and foremost, as you probably um, uh, saw, we, we really selected stories that are really connected to our business priorities. So when you think about, uh, you know, teachers, first responders, when you think about uh, students, when you think about, uh, you know, healthcare providers, when you think about small businesses. So that's one criteria. The other criteria, and I think these two stories that you just show uh, with Ethan and Shandine are great examples of that, is continue to reinforce our leadership 
in terms of our commitment to diversity, inclusion, and those stories that maybe uh, they are not as well represented in uh, the advertising world in this day and age. So uh, having Ethan uh, with uh, uh, and putting him in, in really in a position of, of, of telling his story is something really really special. I I don't want to I don't want to uh, overstep, but I think probably this is one of the first times that you have a, a Navajo Nation. Um, citizen uh, being part in such a uh, uh, high-profile uh, advertising uh, platform. Uh, so we're very, very proud of that. And, and I have to thank uh, all of our ERGs uh, because they've been uh, tremendous partners in our process as we create this, uh, this great content. You, you can feel the pride uh, from Shandine, the, the joy from Ethan, and really uh, looking forward to show, showcasing that in prime time uh, during the Oscars. So, Diego, of course, uh, the, the spots are a big deal, uh, but we always try and make 5G a big deal as well. So talk to us about how 5G is making a mark uh, this weekend. Well, making 5G uh, matter, but also doing it in a way that is experiential and uh, allows our customers uh, to really uh, experience and, 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 and see for themselves why uh, 5G Ultra Wideband is the best 5G. Uh, so we're going to have the uh, 5G portal uh, in, the, in the Oscars. So uh, by accessing through uh, a, Q, uh, a QR code, uh, you're going to be able to actually uh, follow the behind the scenes of the Oscars through 5G Ultra Wideband. First, uh, on the red carpet. Uh, then you're gonna be able to see the backstage of the press room. So, you know, that's when each of the uh, artists uh, receive uh, their awards and talk to the press. And even you're gonna be able to see the engraving room. You know that uh, they engrave the name very quickly uh, as the, uh, the, the awards are, uh, are announced. Uh, so it's gonna be something really, really special. So it's a great way of having a second screen while you're watching the broadcast. Uh, at the same at the same time, I think I, I love the portal, so I'll be I'll be definitely using it. Absolutely, I mean it's not just for film buffs; it's for anyone who really wants to experience a 5G on a level that really uh, is unmatched. So we're looking forward to that. Of course, uh, of course, looking forward to the awards. Of course, do you, do you have a, a favorite for for best picture or anything you're hoping for happening uh, at the awards, Diego? Uh, listen, I think what I like the most about these awards is that finally we're seeing. Uh, diversity, both in terms of uh, you know people of color, uh, female directors, uh, really being uh, recognized. So I really applaud the Academy for uh, starting to move in the right direction. And again, that's why uh, for me is uh, only uh, uh, a, a, another reason of being very very proud of having Verizon. Uh, really leading in this area uh, at the same time that we're driving our business. I mean, you know, we always talk about being a responsible business. This is a great example. You can do terrific uh, commercial messaging and at the same time uh, lead society uh, with the right message in terms of uh, diversity and inclusion and, and, and openness. So very, very proud of the work. It's such an amazing celebration of stories, Diego, and truly award-winning uh, this weekend. And speaking of awards, I'd be remiss if we didn't mention um, we should really talk about the award-winning network, uh, best network, best promise to our customers. And, and I know um, you may have received uh, a little hardware over there as well. So uh, this is your, uh, your time, Diego, your acceptance speech. Go for it. Oh wow! I always, I always wanted to do this. Probably would never happen, but this would be as close as I get to it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> listen. More than uh, accept an award, I wanted to give this award because really, so many people contributed to make this campaign amazing. Uh, so first, I wanna, I wanna thank all of our agencies uh, and our creative teams, uh, Macan, RGA, BM1, our amazing uh, 140 creative team that developed a lot of the work. Uh, for this campaign. Our ERGs that I mentioned before, that they help us craft the messages to make sure uh, that we're being uh, compelling, appropriate, and, and relevant. Uh, our, um, uh, the, the folks that participated in the campaign, all these amazing uh, customers. Uh, and most importantly, I also want to thank, uh, in particular, our engineers, our network team. You always hear me say the same thing, which is we wouldn't do what we do if it wasn't for the amazing work that they do in the field uh, day in and day out. I know, I know that the music is going to be coming very soon, so let me, let me just close <laughs> it. Uh, so to, to all of them, really, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I think I do hear the music in the distance there. So Diego, uh, with that, we want to thank you and, and thank everyone. And really, uh, truly an award winning weekend for all of us. And this award, of course, goes out to our V team. Diego, thank you so much. Uh, it was wonderful chatting with you. Looking forward to a great Oscars. We, we really appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me, Andy. And there you have it, friends. I, I don't know who cued the orchestra, Diego. Um, we'll, we'll look into that. But uh, thank you again, Diego, for uh, for sharing everything about just how special uh, Oscars weekend will be uh, for us, for our customers, for those stories. Um, I, I don't know how you cannot smile when you see Ethan uh, talk about what it means to stay connected with his friends. Uh, such a wonderful young man. Uh, and, uh, and Shandine, of course, the pride behind her work. She is such a rock star. Awesome. All the ways we're making our network matter at the Oscars with some exciting customer stories that we should all be proud of. And we want to thank Shandine, Ethan, all of our customers featured in our spots uh, this Oscars Sunday. You can view all these spots right now uh, on Verizon's YouTube page. We will share a link in the web story of today's episode. Now, uh, those clips are closely tied to our Oscars giveaway contest. I mentioned that before I uh, walked out of the room here. All you got to do is pick your favorite Verizon Oscars commercial. Now, each video is titled with the name of the person featured in the clip. Uh, again, the link will be in today's web story in the replay. Uh, so send us an email to our good mailbox. That email is good at verizon.com share with us your favorite verizon oscars commercial that will enter you into our giveaway drawing we're going to give away four 25 dollars gold belly digital gift cards and if you don't know gold belly is a curated online marketplace for regional and artisanal foods crafted by local food purveyors throughout the United States. Again, $25 Gold Belly digital gift cards for four winners. Uh, just let us know your favorite Verizon Oscar spot by 5 p.m. Eastern today. We need those emails by 5 today. Uh, send those emails to good at verizon.com for a chance to win. All right, before we go, a few more big stories and reminders to tell you about first in case you missed it, big news out of Cupertino this week uh, as Apple unveiled a ton of awesome tech, including two new iPad Pros with 5G, uh, the iPhone 12S in purple, beautiful purple, such a regal color, the Apple AirTag, and a new Apple TV 4K. Everything is coming to Verizon in the next few weeks, uh, starting with those purple iPhones and AirTags with pre-orders starting today. And finally, we're going to end the week the same way we started it with a reminder about National Volunteer Week as we as the week draws to a close uh, we want to take a moment to reflect on all the good that we've done so far so just a glance at the overall volunteer numbers uh, some impressive stuff there since we started our volunteer portal 83,000 V teamers logged more than 650,000 hours we are more than a quarter of the way towards our 2025 goal of 2.5 million volunteer hours by 2025. Now, in just this past first quarter alone, more than 45,000 employees stepped up to volunteer. And through our V Teams uh, volunteer efforts, the Be My Eyes app helped support 2,000 visually impaired people. We supported people in crisis with 9,000 conversations through the crisis text line. And with our partners with the uh, American River organization we collected more than three thousand pounds of litter great job v team let's keep the volunteer efforts going beyond national volunteering week and uh, that wraps up you're up to speed for this friday once again take a look at those oscars commercials share your favorite one with us by sending an email to good at verizon.com do it by 5 p.m eastern today for your chance to win a $25 Gold Belly digital gift card. It's been wonderful spending time with you. As always, I'm glad I'm, I'm finally out of the tux. Now that's what I call hybrid working. To the office and back here uh, in one episode. We'll see you back here next week. Christy joins us live on Monday for all things HR. Have a great weekend, and until next time, you're up to speed.